Hi, this is Diego, reporting at the Super Weed Bodybuilding Contest. Food crops are genetically engineered to resist weed-killing herbicides, but some weeds develop immunities to those herbicides and become stronger and more muscular than ever. They become Super Weeds! Incredible! Our first contestant is the Canadian Rapeseed. Once a canola oil crop genetically modified to resist herbicides, it crossed over to become a weed in the early 1990s. Now it can be found on highways and railroad tracks all across Canada. Our next contestant, Australian ryegrass, was born in 1996. Australian food crops genetically modified for resistance to Roundup were drenched repeatedly with the herbicide. Most weeds were annihilated in the process. But our hardy ryegrass weed mutated and today thrives on a diet of Roundup. Our third contestant is still in training and shows immense potential. Corn and soybeans were genetically engineered in 2011 to be immune to an herbicide similar to Agent Orange. Agent Orange is a chemical weapon that was used as a defoliant in the Vietnam War. Thousands of Vietnamese and US servicemen still suffer from this toxic chemical. So any plant that survives repeated drenchings of Agent Orange should have a spectacular chance as a superweed. This never-ending cycle is good news for future superweeds. As our herbicides grow more poisonous, stronger and more muscular superweeds are born. Stop the war on American soil. And stay informed at Frog TV.